Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Vulpin, and today we're going in with Xeron Sunforge on yet another Duelist Live. Yay! Welcome back everyone, it is good to be back. Uh, I am back. If you follow me on Twitter or you see me in Twitch stream chats, you'll, uh, you might know that I've been sick this week. Uh, I am feeling better, and so we are back at it, back at it, with another episode of Duelist Live. Um, today, let me go ahead and throw myself in the corner there. Today we are going to be playing Mogwai's List, uh, Dawn's Healing, which is uh, another Xeron deck. Uh, I've been wanting to play with her a lot, and now I finally have the tools, and he put out this, this deck list, and I've played a handful of games, and it's been working out pretty well. I will leave a link to the deck list in the description down below, as well as a link to Mogwai's channel. If you don't already know who he is, I'm, I would be surprised. Uh, but if you don't, go check him out. He's awesome. Puts out a lot of great Duelist content, and uh, that's where I got this list from. Uh, so let's go over it here pretty quick. I've realized that the last couple videos that I've made, uh, my explanations of the decks have been pretty long, and I'm not sure if people prefer that or not. Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do explain every single card, or just kind of go through the deck list really quick so you get an idea of what we're playing with. Uh, so this will be the quick version, the, the ladder there. We have three Azurite Lions, three Healing Mystics, three Sunblooms, three Windblade Adepts, uh, two Martyrdoms, two Repulsor Beasts, three Silverguard Knights, three Sunforge Lancers, three Arclight Regalias, one Decimate, three Holy Immolation, two Silhouette Tracer, uh, Sunriser, we have two of them, two Grinchers, two Ironcliff Guardian, and two Dawn's Eye. Uh, notably, this Notably missing from this list is uh, Divine Bond. Uh, yeah, the proven win condition for Lion Art is not here. Um, the way I've been playing this deck is mostly an artifact control type deck, uh, which just happens to have some healing synergy in there. Uh, let's jump into the ladder here. I've been having mixed success. Uh, I think I have a positive win rate, but like I said, it's only a handful of games. Uh, the two cards, I have not, this list is identical to Mogwise, and I have not changed it at all. Um, the two cards in there that I would change out would be both copies of, um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. Both copies of Silhouette Tracer, it has not been needed so far, and, uh, what I'd probably replace that with would be Divine Bond, but I kind of want to just continue with this list and see if I can get it to continue to work. Let's see, so it kind of sucks that we're playing Faye, because she can ping off artifacts pretty easily um, but I think this is usually a really good strong turn two play uh, I think it's too early for this and this this is gonna be our turn one play if we don't get a, a two drop this will be our turn two play if we can get a uh, the mana spring and this will be our turn two play if we cannot so we get a bunch of two drops the line is what we're gonna be using here um, honestly we'll get rid of the wind blade adept for now and that's an okay three drop here. So we'll move on forward. We'll drop the lion. We will end our turn and we'll say good luck, have fun. Because uh, sometimes I get really serious about this game and when it really comes down to it, fun is what it's all about. So I think uh, spamming that emote in the beginning, well not spamming, but just uh, saying it in the beginning kind of reminds me of that. All right, Bone Chill Barrier already. A nice thing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's, uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's just gonna divide the board entirely. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see here. I think. Jeez. Does the spelling this do anything? I don't know. Um, let's hold on to this, this spell. I think we might be a little too early for you. Silhouette Tracer, not what I wanted to see. Minions next to this minion that attack it are stunned. Okay. So, let's attack this one. Let's head into the middle. Let's hit this, and then we'll place this in his face. We'll end our turn. 
full emulation. This would have been nice. Well, it could be nice this turn, although not really, because it's only going to hit two things. So we'll see. We're going to get a Razor Pack great, so he's just going to. Well, is he going to clear? He can't clear this, but he can do a decent amount of damage on me. Step remote, so that's good. He's going to take some damage with his face. I don't know that Razorback is necessarily his best option there. Hmm. So let's see. I don't think we're going to need you. I think now is the time that we just put this on. We'll lose. We will lose a usage of it. Um, yeah, I don't want to use this. It feels bad just getting two health and clearing one minion. So I think what we're gonna do is just do this. We will. Pop this and we're land our game. We lose, we, we, get, we break one usage of our regalia. This turn he's probably gonna break it with Warbird plus, I assume he has some kind of out of hand damage. Uh, but assuming we make it two more turns, we can toss this on and repair it all the way. Okay, Cryo. And what else? That's fine, because we're gonna move forward and uh, stop him from being able to infiltrate. So they're going to take 4 damage to face, which is always good for us. Let's see. I think here what we want to do is step forward. Oh wait, we did not lose this. Oh, because he didn't have out of, any out of hand damage. Okay. So I should have moved to whoops. Well, that's too bad. Um, yeah, I guess that's too bad. But we will put this guy here. I guess that could be good. I don't know. No, I don't think this is good enough. So let's replace that. <clears throat> we'll get an Iron Cliff, which is good. We'll put four more damage on him, and we'll end our turn. Let's see what they have for us. We've put on a decent amount of pressure. That's the thing about this deck is, uh, I don't know. Usually I really want board control. With this deck, it seems like if you throw out one or two minions, but you have your artifacts going at the same time you just present multiple threats especially with arc light people want to get that away as soon as possible and so they usually end up face tanking to try to get rid of it um i don't know why he did that maybe he thought that would get rid of the artifact or maybe he's just trying to get rid of the first ping okay yeah so that's fine uh this is a pretty good target for cryo but he used it last turn and that's why it's pretty good to play right now he's running away which is good for us Glacial Elemental, that's fine, unless he's gonna, okay, yeah. So let's see. Five, seven, eleven. Um. Let's see, we have six mana. We're at 19 health, that's pretty good. Uh, I think what we do here actually is just step forward, attack you, place this here. Step forward and we'll put five more 
of damage on you. And uh, we will call that our turn. And they just concede. Okay, so it worked out. I put on a lot of pressure there. All right. So one win in the bag, not too bad, not even bad. Rank eight. I wish I had more time to play. That is going to be a constant in every single uh, Duelist Live I do here. Because honestly, I wish I had more time to play. A Persian Dawn. 100 wins with Vitruvian. I think some kind of Saj deck. I know that uh, there is a replace Saj deck going around that people really like. Uh, let's get rid of these two for now. So I wonder if that's what we're going to see here. Uh, maybe get rid of one of these two drops, and that's good. The place is here, and our turn. Good luck, have fun. I know there's a replace Saj deck, and then there's obviously artifact Saj. Okay, rock polarizer. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I think we're going to keep this unless we can find a spell just in case like a Nimbus or a AMR healer comes out in a couple turns. This could be good. I think out of these two, the one I want to get rid of right now is this because this has more of an immediate effect to the board. Uh, let's see. So... This is just kind of to deny. The mana tile. Ah, uh, but then we'll come down here. We'll come over here. Unfortunately, this is going to uh, not take care of it. Whoops. So I guess we'll do this play instead. And we'll end our turn. That was another alternative play that I had in mind, but I didn't think it was um, it was as good as clearing that. But I forgot. To Okay, so that's, I think, fine. Um, let's see, I think now we need to get rid of Man, five? Damage is pretty crazy. I don't want her to get her way and uh, put on the ranged artifact. Uh, Vitruvian is one of the uh, one of the factions I've played the least, and so I know the least about. Um, I do know that she can become ranged though, and so I want to keep her as close as possible. And uh, we're gonna take five damage trying to do that. We'll try and keep her close and we're trying to break this hex blade. And we'll end our turn. Arc light, that could be good for us next turn. This isn't really necessary, so she has five mana to deal with. Alright, attacking, so we break the artifact, so that's good. Replacing, Inquisitor Crown, okay. Range version, of course. So on five, let's see if we cannot um, replace you. Well, I wish I had something better to do here. Hmm. 
Where do I want to play you? This will play you here. We'll play you here. We'll move this guy into four. We'll step down here. We don't want this range minion getting away from us. So we will take that out. This is really like bad usage of mana. And that's it feels really bad. We'll end our turn. So we've got this away from us for a while. We have this and this to start uh... Wow, okay. It's pretty good. Are we gonna move it or just <laughs> let it chill over there? Astral phasing, huh? That's pretty crazy. Alright. So do we want to put him back at full health by Martyr, Martyr, Martyr Domain, that Inquisitor call. Uh, the Persian Dawn is really considering the remainder of their turn here. So they're going Blast, that's what I was talking about earlier. because why not um, geez feels bad but I think we're gonna get rid of we're gonna get rid of this yeah that's not really what I wanted to see oh well you're going back up to full health. We'll do this. We'll get rid of this. We'll cry. And then, uh, we'll step over. We'll take the two damage. We'll end our call. This is kind of bad because she can just easily step back, use the Bloodborne spell, and take that out for free. Um, however, we do have Dawn's Eye, although we'll probably want to equip Arclight Regalia first just because then we'll prevent some damage. And then we'll get the Dawn's Eye on next turn in order to. Uh... Interesting, why move there? take the two damage. I guess she didn't want to back herself further into a corner. Another Inquisitor Cron, of course. Good thing we're going on seven because we're just going to push this thing into the corner again. Frenzy, of course. Uh, so yeah, we'll take you. This looks familiar, right? Put this on. We'll step up. Yeah, except bad position because she can just blast us. But I don't want to be frenzied, so we'll do that. Uh, the good news is that if she wants to blast us, she has to step down and take five damage from me. Hopefully, she doesn't have another astral phasing. I don't know if that's safe. Of, of course, of course, of course, because why not? Why not just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat? This team is plus four attacks, so that'll put me at nine. Not enough to kill it, of course. Inquisitor Cron is pretty fun until you're playing against it and they just keep getting dropped, and apparently they just keep getting plus five health. Man, this person is just getting like all of the best. Uh, 
course, yes. Why not? Why not make it just better? Can I please get a dispel or even another repulsor beast? No, there's only two repulsor beasts in here, right? Although, uh, okay, so we're healing. We have eight mana, so this could be important. So we get rid of you. Okay, so. We will put this on. We will hit you. We are going to place this here. So that it cannot be frenzied by this. And we will end our turn. Now we're looking pretty pretty here. It's in a 9 damage. And we prevent any 2 that he gives us. So. Unfortunately our, uh, our hand is pretty low considering our opponent's pretty full. And although next turn we can go up to 10 damage with this plus this. Still have nine mana and four cards in hand. What are you going to play? You step down so you can't attack this anymore. Okay, interesting. Interesting. No more artifacts in your deck, huh? So. Jeez. What can help us here, other than this combo here? Hmm. I'm trying to think if it's worth it to replace either of these for anything. You know what, let's uh... what I wanted to see actually at all. So let us step you two forward. We will just come down here. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this here. We're just gonna kinda hail Mary here. Come on, my mouse is all messed up now. We're going Hail Mary. Hopefully we just don't die. Honestly, just need to be able to have him not have four out of hand damage. But I messed up the placing. I meant to put this up here and this down here. Because obviously this isn't getting its zeal bonus. That's what happens when I begin to rope is uh, I make my play very quickly. I already knew kind of what my play was going to be there, but I think it's fine. Interesting. I guess I didn't realize that. Can you do six damage? Oh, that's a dying wish. Dying wish equipped you. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, well played. We went Hail Mary there. Well, there you go. Artifact versus artifact. It was close. Unfortunately, I felt like I was a step behind that whole game. I never really felt like <clears throat> I was in control, and when you're playing a control deck, that is not a good feeling. Um, I never felt like I was too far behind. I just felt like I just needed a little something. Um, really, those crons, which were able to just immediately fly back and step in front of us, was a pretty big downfall. Uh, let's see. Like I said, I am recovering from being sick, so I think it's going to be a shorter Duelist Live today. Um, but I am on the men's. And I do want to make more videos. I've been kind of behind on my schedule and now I'm catching up. Um, I finally have a free weekend where I can record and uh, get ahead of my schedule. So that's the plan. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have anything to say, if you noticed a, 
I misplay, or if you have any changes to the deck that you want to suggest, please leave a comment in the uh, comment box down below. And uh, as always, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you next time.